This is going to be the last question before closing statements. This was a question submitted by Andres Tovar. What do you believe separates you from the other candidates in this race? Look, I think I said online that I think the next delegate from Arlington needs to be a fighter for Arlington values to try to take those values to Richmond and make change about the things that we care about. So I ask you to look at my record. You know, who's been a fighter against dirty coal? Who's been a fighter against expanding I-66? Who's been a fighter for dedicated funding for Metro? For the rights of workers? For full marriage rights for all Virginians? You know, I've been trying to get out there as much as I can. You know, I started blogging a couple years ago. I had a blog called TheGreenMiles.com and then wrote for Goldfeld's blog, RacingCane.com, and all that closed down last December. And I've been trying to get out as much as I can. You know, I think we need to, you know, be willing to give a little bit of ourselves to see progress on the issues that we care about. And, you know, I think when I come home from work at the National Wildlife Federation at, you know, 530 at night, there's got to be something that really drives you to get out there. Because if it's a rainy night like this, you know, it's easy to say, oh, we're not going to go knock on doors tonight. But for me, that issue is climate change. You know, I think it's the number one issue that's facing us, both as a country and as Virginia. I think it threatens us not only right now, but for future generations. So I think, you know, I've done my best when I've seen a problem that threatens our progressive values to act on that. Thanks, Andres, for that question. I'd also like to, in some of my time, add, you know, Andres is a really good friend of mine. And it's a real honor to be sitting up here on stage with him when we both sat down before the campaign started. It was a weird thought to be thinking I'd be running against a good friend like Andres. But I think every single person in this race has specific and different issues that are important to them. And I don't think anyone is just running for the sake of running. I'm running as a candidate who's lived here my entire life. I'm the only candidate in this race who's been here my entire life. And I left my job, as we talked about earlier, and I am running to be a full-time delegate. I really do believe the issues facing this community are very important. And, you know, my generation is going to be affected more than any generation before. And I'm running because I believe I bring a new energy and a different set of experiences to this race and really a fresh voice to Richmond. And I really hope everybody will take a look at my campaign and consider supporting me on this stage tonight. Maybe a preview of the closing statements. So apologies in advance for that. I would also like to echo my admiration for the colleagues and the many varied experiences that they bring to the table in their campaigns and their respective strengths, respective strengths. And I'll leave it to voters to decide what are the important criteria that distinguish and separate us. In terms of what I bring to the race, I think there are two main components. One is the unique experience, again, of having been born and raised in Arlington and lived in Arlington for a long time, but also lived and worked in other parts of Virginia and bring a statewide perspective of how to link our needs up in Arlington with the broader state. The second area is having real experience working in Richmond, having worked with the governor and the legislature, having been at the negotiating table, having seen how these problems can be solved and how real solutions can be found. I've got real experience protecting our environment. It's an issue that's important to me and that I've worked on in various capacities for a number of years. And I've got real experience building a new green economy and creating jobs. So I think those are all perspectives that I bring to the race. The perspectives I bring, especially I'm an attorney with a health care attorney, and I've been working on health care reform for the last 15 years. In the community, you know, I've worked successfully with community members of Arlingtonians, you know, on a wide variety of community issues for the last 10 years. I know what the Arlington way is. I've experienced it, and, you know, it's the way you bring people together. I've been a commissioner on the Commission on Aging. I served two terms. I chaired the Arlington Community Services Board. I am a 
so you know, I mentioned earlier the other question about you know, bringing people together at the, at the local, state, regional, and state levels. And so I think I bring a unique perspective that, that no one here in the state has. And I'm looking forward to use what I have to make Arlington and Virginia better. My parents came over as an indicated my statement from Mexico as immigrant farm workers. I was born in Texas. I started school in, in first grade, uh, trying to learn English. Um, I know the challenges and the suffering that the immigrants came uh, and bring. The, uh, the, the new immigrants here uh, have the same aspirations as my parents and probably your parents or grandparents when they came over here as immigrants to this country. They're all after the, 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 uh, the American dream. And that's why I've dedicated a significant amount of time in the last four years working in the Sugar Cane Farm and Education Center to provide a helping hand for those as a result of the helping hands that I received along my own career. I want to um, advocate for universal preschools so that all children, irrespective of their backgrounds, are going to have a, a shot staying in school. Okay? I want to deal with the dropout rate because so many of the folks that come over as immigrants and they start, they never catch up. I want to provide the kinds of resources that are needed because I know that once we provide that tremendous education to our young people to our tremendous schools here, they are ready to go to work or to go to our universities. And that's what I'm going to be fighting for in Richmond. It's a privilege to be here with these distinguished colleagues that are also fighting for the same job. Thank you very much. Exactly.